difference here. All right, this is the Walther PK380, 380 caliber handgun, semi-automatic, double action. Comes with an eight-round magazine, so it's eight plus one. All right, we'll show the takedown, how to clean it, and how to put it back together. I haven't seen a lot of videos online about that, so we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, get this out of the way. Okay, so the takedown of this weapon, um, it's not like a Glock or anything. You don't do the slide back and drop. Um, it comes with a little tool, and you actually have to use this. So basically, in the port right here, the little side, you put the tool in there, rotate it 130 degrees, and that will allow you to release, release the takedown. So let's see if I can get this going. Just rotate it, pull this out, and then you just slide these down right there. Slides right off. That's a polymer frame. Um, it's a simple takedown. Break apart. Just pop this spring out like that, which the spring is pretty long, and then the barrel just falls right out. So that is the actual breakdown and disassemble of the Walther PK380. Not too much to it. I actually shot this gun a week ago, put about 200 rounds through it, and probably one of the best shooting pistols that I've shot in a long time. So really, really dig it a lot. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning, and then I'll show you how to put it back together. All right, so I didn't want to bore you with the cleaning of the uh, gun, so I went ahead and just cut the video, did the cleaning. Um, now is the fun part of actually reassembling the, uh, the firearm. It's got uh, this spring right here, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Um, you got to compress that all the way without shooting across your kitchen or workshop, wherever you're doing that, because I did that the other day. So, reassembly is just the same as uh, the disassemble. Just slide the barrel back in place, and then if anyone's got a good trick for this, let me know, because I really don't have one. I just try to squeeze this spring all the way down. My hands are wet now from working on the gun. And just try to put it in there, which is a pain, as you can tell. So, we'll see how long this takes me to get it in. The other day was like five minutes before I ever got it in, so it's kind of fun. This sucks. This is the worst part of this gun. It's not like the Glock that has a small, thick spring. It's got a long, skinny spring, so it's harder to get it in, in there. There we go. And that's probably the fastest I've put it back in there. So, everything's put back together. Um, it's pretty much clean. I'm just going to dump some oil on the slide so that it racks pretty easy. Wipe up the excess here. Kind of let that run down. All right, and it just slides back on like it came off. So once it's back on there, get in spot. Push the tape down back on there. Get your key back out. Rotate it back. 130 degrees. And. There you go. That's it. Love this gun. I think anyone that wants a decent carry gun should uh, look at this one. It's a great shooting gun. And uh, hopefully they'll have more accessories coming for it in the future. But, uh, that's it. We'll see you guys later.